Hello everyone. The next topic is the convolution theorem. Convolution theorem in inverse Laplace transform. What is the statement of convolution theorem? For this one proof is also there but just for, for us the statement is enough. L of f of t is equal to f bar of s is one function. L of g of t is equal to g bar of s. Then L of f of t star g of t is equal to f bar of s into g bar of s that is equal to if you send the L to this side L inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to f of t star g of t that is equal to integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du. Now this is the convolution theorem statement if you send the L to this side L inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to f of t star g of t that is equal to integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du is the statement of a convolution theorem. That means uh, whenever uh, product of two terms, whenever product of two terms occurs inside of L inverse, inside of L inverse, whenever the product of two terms occurs, you have to apply convolution theorem. Uh, see the first problem. This is the formula. This is equal to this is equal to this. Last one. You remember this one very uh, carefully. This is equal to this is equal to f of u in integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du formula. Remember by heart. Now using convolution theorem. The first problem, second problem, third problem. Now convolution theorem when we have to apply product of two terms inside of L inverse. L inverse of 1 by s plus a into 1 by s plus b. Product of two terms. One is f of t, one is f of t, another one is g of t like that. One is f bar of s, another one is g bar of s like this we have to take. L inverse of um, product of two terms whenever occurs you have to apply convolution theorem. Now these three problems uh, using partial fraction method also you can apply in the examination if they specify in the examination if they specify apply convolution theorem then only you do in this method otherwise you can proceed with these uh, such type of problems in the partial fraction method this one we can do using partial fraction method using the first method this one also you can do partial fraction method this one also you can do in partial fraction method now that means convolution theorem problems all problems you can solve in partial fraction method uh, but in the examination sometimes they will specify apply convolution theorem to solve or to find L inverse of something. Now at that time only you do in that method otherwise uh, just to solve, find uh, solve L inverse of something like that if they ask that is your wish you can do either convolution you can do either convolution or partial fraction method first one L inverse of 1 by S plus A into S plus B. Now in the solution let f bar of s is equal to 1 by s plus a two functions are given and g bar of s is equal to 1 by s plus b the first function i have taken product of two terms are there inside of l inverse f bar of s is equal to 1 by s plus a g bar of s is equal to 1 by s plus b now f bar of s means what l of we know l of f of t is equal to always f bar of s now f of t is equal to l inverse of f bar of s l inverse of what is our f bar of s our f bar of s is 1 by s plus a that is equal to e to the power of minus a t in the same way l of g of t is equal to g bar of s if you send the l to this side g of t is equal to l inverse of g bar of s l inverse of g bar of s is equal to how much 1 by s plus b that is equal to l inverse of a 1, a 1 by s plus b is e to the power of minus bt. Now we will write by convolution theorem by convolution theorem l inverse of 1 by s plus a into s plus b is equal to L inverse of F bar of S into G bar of S. That means 1 by, uh, uh, this is our given problem, but 1 by uh, one by S plus A is F bar of S, 1 by S plus B is G bar of S. That is equal to L inverse of 1 by S plus A into 1 by S plus B. 
that is equal to 1 by s plus a 1 by s plus a is um, that is equal to l tell me now l inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s l inverse of l inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to f of t star g of t this is the complete formula l inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to we can write f of t star g of t that is equal to f of t star g of t using formula using formula this one L of L inverse of F bar of S uh, into G bar of S is equal to F of T star G of T. That is equal to. Again I will write F of T star G of T. F of T star G of T is equal to integral 0 to T. F of U into G of T minus U du. Formula again using formula that is equal to integral 0 to t f of u how much is f of u f of u is equal to f of t is equal to e to the power of minus 80 in place of t f of t is equal to e to the power of minus 80 f of t is equal to e to the power of minus 80 in place of t you have to substitute u f of u is equal to e to the power of minus a u into e to the power of g of t minus u g of t is equal to e to the power of minus b t in place of t you substitute b minus u e to the power of minus b into t minus u du f of t is equal to e to the power of minus a t in place of t you substitute u you will get f of u g of t minus u is equal to g of t is equal to this one g of t minus u if you want in place of t t minus u wherever t is there t minus u if you substitute you will get like this that is equal to e to the power of minus a e to the power of minus b t e to the power of minus b t constant integral 0 to t e to the power of minus a u into e to the power of minus into minus plus b u d u that is equal to e to the power of minus b t into taking common u minus also can we write like this either 0 to t minus a u minus into minus plus b u that is equal to e to the power of minus b t integration of this one is e to the power of minus a minus b u by minus of a minus b 0 to t we are integrating with respect to u that's why e to the power of minus b t is constant we are integrating with respect to u upper limit minus lower limit it's the power of 0 is 1 minus a t minus into minus plus b t now if you multiply plus b t minus b t get cancelled this one this one get cancelled multiplying the next problem is l inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 4 here also product of two terms this problem also you can do using laplace transform method but if the in the given problem if they specify using convolution theorem then only you do 
product of two terms are f bar of s is equal to 1 by s, g bar of s is equal to 1 by s square plus 4. Now, L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. f of t is equal to L inverse of f bar of s. L inverse of f bar of s is 1 by s. L inverse of f bar of s, uh, L inverse of 1 by s is 1. L of g of t is equal to g bar of s. g of t is equal to L inverse of g bar of s. L inverse of 1 by s square plus 4. That is equal to 1 by 2 into sin 2t. Applying convolution L inverse of 1 by s into s square plus 4 is equal to L inverse of 1 by s into 1 by s square plus 4 L inverse of this one is f bar of s this one is g bar of s that is equal to f of t star g of t that is equal to integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du f of u wherever t is there in place of t u integral 0 to t f of u is 1 into g of t minus u 1 by 2 into sin 2 t minus u 1 by 2 sin 2 t 1 by 2 sin 2 into t minus u du that is equal to 1 by 2 I will write outside integral 0 to t sin 2 t minus u du 1 by 2 into integral sin is a minus cos 2 into t minus u t into by minus 2 minus 2 du with respect to u we are integrating by minus 2 t 0 u minus u becomes minus 2 2 into minus 1 that is equal to with respect to u we are integrating remember 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 is minus minus cancel 1 by 2 into 2 is 1 by 4 1 by 4 into upper limit is cos 2 into t minus t minus cos 2t minus that is equal to 1 by 4 into cos 0 minus cos 2t cos 0 is 1 1 by 4 into 1 minus cos 2t now here upper limit minus lower limit that is equal to upper limit minus lower limit you will get do the three problems as homework using convolution theorem method you can do all the three problems using partial fraction method also but to do the three problems using convolution theorem method thank you